All right, let's talk some NFL, if we can really say this, or is this uh, UFC? I don't know. Rob G., uh, I want you to jump in on this because, Lindsay, did you see the video of Cam Newton getting attacked by like four or five guys at a yeah, man, seven on seven? And the hat never came off, and he was fighting <laughs> off these guys. And it's crazy because this wasn't like some street situation where somebody was trying to rob him or, you know what I mean, or he's jumped no. in some no. – he's at a he's at a, uh, a, a seven-on-seven seven football game, right? Yeah, Rob, it was, Rob, I, think, I think it was his event. Like, that's his seven-on-seven seven event, right? Yeah, because it started under a tent, too, and then right. it kind of moved out. Rob G., give us the details, and then we'll talk with Lindsay about this. Sure. Well, by now everybody's seen the video where LeBron – or excuse me, Cam mm-hmm. Newton is going Incredible Hulk on, like, five different guys. <laughs> where he's winning a fight without actually throwing a punch, which is crazy because he's just got one guy in a headlock. He's throwing another guy with his left hand. It was very, very impressive by Cam Newton. However, according to Fox News, they caught up to two of the guys who were involved in and the this skirmish. And this is just their side. This is we just we their haven't side. heard from Cam. Okay. Full disclosure. Yep. Cam Newton's actually the guy who started the whole ordeal, according to them. <laughs> Now, according to these guys who who formerly worked with Cam Newton at another seven on seven team, they worked under him, and now they branched off and did their own thing. But it all started on Saturday when Cam Newton showed up, doing a lot of trash talking, and that goes on a lot here at these seven on seven tournaments. At one point, saying that I'm y'all's daddy during a heated exchange, according to multiple reports. And according to these two guys, these brothers, Steph and TJ. Steph is the younger one. He went to confront Cam after their game on Sunday to talk about some of the things that Cam had said during the heat of the of the moment. He thought that Cam had crossed the line. According to them, Cam grabbed Steph, one of the brothers, by his collar and was saying threatening things to him. At that point, TJ, which is the older brother, jumped in, jumped in, took a swung at Cam, and the melee ensued. Now Again, this is just their version of events. However, one anonymous parent who was present during the whole thing did tell Fox News that Cam was taunting throughout both of the games on Saturday and Sunday. Again, we don't know exactly what he yep. said that would prompt this fight, but that Cam was involved in the taunting. And and, and I'll start here, Lindsay. There's a lot of situations. You know this. You were a pro athlete for a long time. People are looking to, you know— mix it up with you, get you caught out there or whatever. And there's a fine line, and I don't know of the details. I'm not blaming Cam, but it's just not the look you want. Not when you are a Super Bowl, I mean, uh, an MVP. Not when you put up a career that you have that you're in a scrap publicly with other people. I think that's the part when I saw it, I just couldn't believe that it had gotten to a point where Cam Newton is in a scrap with with other people, like I, I just is is as a former athlete, how tough is that? And do you know what I'm saying? Like Lindsay, are, were you conscious of that? That that I can't be in, involved in such stuff, or or is it impossible to uh, to, to to be able to police yourself that it, way? It, it's a tough situation. You, you get people, you know, um, you get people that want to try you at times. People want to, you know, people say things and people do things to, to try to push you. You know, I, I boxed for 10 years, so I, I always had a, you know, outlet for all that type of stuff. Right, right. <laughs> but, but, you know, if Cam was protecting himself, Rob, what, what more can you ask? We don't know. You can, you can talk and you can say whatever you want to say. Just don't put your hands on me. Right. You know, so it's all, you know, if, if he's saying things or they're going back and forth. Because you remember last year Cam was at one of these events and he was going back and forth with one of the disrespectful kids. Kids was calling him trash last year. And Cam was just looking at him like, who are you talking to, you know? So I don't know if this is a carryover from last year right. or whatever it was, but regardless to what Cam said, you can't put your hands on somebody. Right. And that's he has every right that he in the world and, and to he defend has every himself. Right world to defend himself. There, there's no doubt. I mean you and, can't you can't allow yourself to be right, attacked. Right. But I'm hoping that uh you know that Cam wasn't the first one to get physical. And I'm just saying from the standpoint of he's the bigger guy and it looks worse for him. You know, nobody knows who those other people are, Lindsay. That's always the 
the toughest spot to be in when you have a celeb, right? Right, right. No, that's true. I, and I definitely understand that part. Uh, but at the same time, he's a, he's a human, Rob. And, and what else was he supposed to do? If, 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 in fact, they attacked him, what else could he have done? There was security there. We saw security come late. Right, but they were late. And, and I always <laughs> have a problem. And, I, and th- there's got to be some other animosity there for five guys to jump on one. Like, right. seriously, you know what I mean, Lindsay? You, and, and here's something that I always remember when I was growing up that there was always a certain degree of respect right. in the hood right. to me. Right. And when I just mean the hood, like in our community, for guys who made it to the league, no matter what sport you were in. Am I right? Exactly. Because it's hard to make the league, and people always had that. Like guys wouldn't mess with people who made the league, right? You weren't doing right. anything you crazy. You were protected. You were protected. And I don't think it's like that anymore. I, I really don't. You know this, a lot of NBA players get robbed, Lindsey. Yeah. Right? Which which was another thing that just didn't happen. Uh I I, I don't know. Am, am I wrong? You you're out there more than I am as far as knowing NBA players and other, you know, professional athletes and it seems as if more and more you know, they're targets and people are trying to provoke them. And that's right. why I hated to see Cam involved in this. Well, it's definitely different now, especially with, you know, social media and all of the different outlets of of you know, how people can can find you and know where you are at all times if you're on social media. It's just different. We live in a different day and age. And, you know, guys, young younger guys have to be very, very careful where you go, who you are around uh, and, and what you do, because people people know, you know, a lot of these guys live through social media. So it, we always know where they're going or know what they're doing. And, and that's not always a good thing. Yeah, that's the other part is uh, very little secrets. Right. Because everybody's flossing. Everybody's putting everything out. You could track people. Pe- people's homes are being robbed because they, they're showing everybody they're on vacation in Morocco. <laughs> right. Am I right? I mean, really. Right. Right. It, 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 it's just to me, I just, I felt bad because Cam is, you know, he was one of the rare, you know, quarterbacks that, that, was was successful was super successful in the NFL. He happened to be a black quarterback, and it just seems like the respect wasn't there. You know, do the, would we see uh, if if any other quarterback was having a camp like that? Would they have treated him like that? Would they have approached him like that? Now, would they have been talking trash like Cam Newton? Probably not, because Cam is a different guy. Right. But at the same time, it doesn't matter if 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 a person says something to you. If you're offended by it, just let them know you're offended. You know, there's no need to try to put your hands on a guy, especially a guy 6'5", 245. What, what do you think? And, and, and boy, I mean, he was fighting people off. I mean, it was pretty like amazing. Hulk. I know. He's a big dude, man. He's right. a big dude. But but also, Cam, I, don't, I know Cam has a podcast and he has his opinions and he puts stuff right. out and all that. Um, Cam's still a young guy, probably – should still be in the league, right? He's not even old, to to be no, honest. No, but but there age. but there also seems to be like this persona that he has as well. I don't I don't know what the that he's portraying, and and I wonder is that Cam and his frustration that he's still not playing. You know what I mean? That he's looking at these other guys who who are quarterback in the NFL, Lindsey who aren't nearly as good or talented as him, and they still are playing. That could be. It could be a, a you know, a way that he's feeling like he's, you know, some injustice has been done to him. Um, you heard him speak about it a while ago. He was saying there's not, what, he said there's not 15 or 20 guys better than me in right. the league right now. You know, him and Robert Griffin Jr. said that. <laughs> you know, so. But, <laughs> well, one of them I understand. I'm sorry. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm not trying to get you started with, with don't, RG3. <laughs> don't get that. Lindsay, what you trying to do to I'm me? I'm not trying to get you, you started. You've already been through that, all right? That was 20 years wowsy, ago. Wowsy, wowsy, woo, woo. <laughs> Y'all need to make up, man. I, I already up. I've extended the olive branch. Rob okay. G, did not tell Lindsay. I extended an olive branch. We, we have want an to... open invitation to RG3. Oh, good. To come good. on the show. Good. Lindsay, good. you know me. Come on, yeah. man. I'm I'm willing to 
break bread and talk about stuff. I'm cool with that. Right. I didn't like him uh, racing the birds and all that stuff. That was kind of. Kind of strange. <laughs> Yeah. Just kind of strange, right? All but, right, go ahead. But but you, but you were right. That that may be an outlet for for Cam to you know just an outlet for him. Yeah, and, and you know Cam has always been different though, Rob. You watch how he always has dressed. Oh yeah, he's always been flamboyant with his dressing, and, and I was tripping because the hat with the feathers never moved. It when never he was moved. It never guys came anywhere. off. I thought hey, the that's same a thing. talent. That's a special talent. Is that? Did he have a strap on that to hold it on? I mean, you when you when you're in a scrap, that should come off first, Lindsay. I would have thought. Hey, that was kind of cool. That was.